How you doing guys? So this video is gonna be very like off the cuff, just more of like a life update, you know, what am I getting up to, what do I do, what's my day look like, how's the business going, and then in the end I'll like tie it all up with a question that I've been getting quite a lot uh, through Instagram DM and that just all ties it all in nicely. So uh, let's just start off at the start. I, uh, how's it going? Well, it's going pretty good. You know, the business is going good, brand is going good. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, check out my Instagram stories, you'll know that um, Brampreneur is like a six-figure business. Uh, that means that, that doesn't mean, like just just so you guys know, like that doesn't mean that we've got 100,000 euros or dollars like on the bank. It means that we are doing over 8,300 um, euros or dollars in revenue a month. And that means that over the course of a year, we will earn 100,000. And that means that you're the six-figure business. Um, and yeah, like that's because we all provide like a shit ton of value to our clients. You know, the clients are happy, they're staying with us, they're referring us to, to other clients, and we're getting like business in. So as it stands, uh, we are a six-figure business, and obviously, we, you know, we're looking to, now that we've reached that goal, you know, we're looking to expand on that, get more clients in, and just provide more value in general. Um, that is taken up by like, quite a lot of time because like we do want to scale the business, we want to get more people on the team, you know, we want to get the best of the best so we can provide the best value and you know like also ask for like higher rates um so like that's what i've been like that's what i do on a daily basis you know try and expand the team just deal with every like day-to-day -day stuff for the business uh try to work on the business as much as possible and not so much in the business um but like that's why you know i am like quite a busy guy nowadays that's what i do nowadays and i feel like i'm sort of like leaving like the youtube I'm not doing as much with it as I wanted to, especially at the start. I thought, you know what, I'll document every day. Even I'm just sitting in my room, I'll put the video on, you know, on time lapse and film stuff. And I feel like I don't do that as much as I want to anymore. So I do want to sort of like bring that back in. I actually want to start documenting what it's like to, to run a business, an online business. And uh, what I was thinking of doing, uh, like there's, there's a few YouTubers actually that are out there like, documenting the same thing. but show you guys like how what the second step looks like a lot of people document the start and i want to start like documenting what is it like to to have a six figure business and then try and get like the second six figures in so like you know like what what's it what's it like to scale from a six figure business to a quarter of a million business you know something like that i'm playing around with it i just want to start documenting more show you guys more of of like what's going on behind the scenes basically um and yeah like that like i said i want to start documenting it i want to start start showing more things on youtube again and I want to start providing more value to you guys. I feel like even on Instagram, like I'm not as active anymore. And like I hope you do, you guys do understand. Like you know, it's 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 hard, like much harder than I expected. Like I always thought that um, nothing. And I'm not making excuses here. Like it is like my own responsibility to do this. But at the start, I thought, yeah, like I will document as much as possible. And like even if I just post something shitty just to get the content out there, you know, like just even if the picture's not perfect or it's like me sitting in like. I don't know, like a, ju a jumper trying to work away, just to show that. And I don't know, it just doesn't. I when I'm, when I'm working away, it just doesn't come up in my head. Like think like, okay, let's let's get a quick snap for for Instagram or something like that. But anyway, enough of that. Business is going well, life's going well. You know, I'm in a happy place right now. Uh, slowly building away at my team. You know, trying to get like a proper like dream team of of, of good people on the brand Panier team. You know, like get the get the best graphic designers the best uh, like Facebook ads guys, just get them all together and really, really like, you know, like, just just get the best amount of value for the clients possible. Um, in terms of, like the business, how we actually got the business to six figures and why, why, how are we getting clients? That's a que question I get quite a lot. Um, like one of the, 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 like, the game changers for us was actually getting someone to do client acquisition. So getting someone to, so, so basically when we get a client, uh, guys, like I said, this is gonna be a very rambly, like all over the place video, but I'm just trying to give you guys like uh, a bit of an update. But uh, yeah, so the way it works now is when we get a client, the first point of contact is like they talk to the person who like our, out, like, our outreach manager basically. Uh, she does the outreach, she talks to the clients, get, like that's like the initial point of contact. Then we get them like onto Skype, or if it's in the Netherlands, then it's a physical face to face meeting. You know, we talk to the client, we see, okay, what do they actually want? What can we provide them? You know, are we a right fit for each other? Because like, obviously if it's not a win-win situation, then, you know, there's no point in working together because we're only just gonna get frustrated with each other and it's gonna end badly. So, okay, can we get a win-win situation? What does that mean? Uh, that means like, can we get 
a retainer rate of over a thousand a month that is what we're aiming to get that is what we charge for our services and can we get them a return on investment so um you know that's what we try and aim for from there they, you know that's when we get started and like i said we are trying to keep our clients for as long as possible and i think that the way to do that is just to provide us much value and i think that value always comes first money comes second and like a lot of people i think i that you know let me know if i'm wrong but i think a lot of people that subscribe to this channel or that follow me on instagram think that's your way around they're always thinking about the money like they always say like how do you ask for so much a month like you know how, how do you get your retainer higher how do you how would you just sell yourself you know f with a higher fee and it's all about the value like if you can prove that you're worth that much then you're worth the retainer you know what i mean like a uh, quick example if uh, let's say you're doing social media marketing for a real estate uh, you know agent you sell them a house or you help them sell a house let's say your retainer is two thousand a month so over the course of three months uh, you will cost them six thousand euros dollars whatever and you sell them a house for four million and they get two percent let's say you sell them a house for one million and you get they get a two percent commission off that one house because you know they're real estate they've helped sell the house then they were the ends their money back that they invested in you and like if you can keep that up for as long as possible then they're going to stay with you forever because they're made up they're basically making money by spending money on you and that is that is the situation you need to create with the client because once they can, you can get the client to return an investment, they're never going to leave you because they're absolutely made up with you. That's what we're trying to do with every client. And that is why I think, you know, we've been able to scale as quickly as we have done because clients have noticed that we're, get, we're basically making them money. So, you know, they're not, not going to leave us. And they're even referring us to other clients or like friends that they know that own business as well. Like, for example, to, uh, last week, we got a client without even like doing any type of outreach they came to us say like listen um you started for company x like two weeks ago they've got a return on investment um he couldn't recommend you guys more which is great to hear you know he said like i hear the brand panier through this friend couldn't recommend you more um let's chat you know what can you do for us and it's like with minimum effort we got an extra client which is unbelievable but that's just the way it is you know, like that's i feel like if you can provide as much value as possible um, you know, I, I lost my train of thought there, but like, if you can, if you can provide value, then like the clients will come, the money will come. Like the money is a bonus, the money is secondary. You know, the, the value needs to be there first, and that ties in nicely with um, a question I always get on my Instagram, which is like, how? If first of all, it starts off with how do you become an entrepreneur? So I said like, okay, define entrepreneur. What is an entrepreneur? You know, what do you think an entrepreneur is? He said, okay, um, how do I start a business? I so, said, well, you know, business is easy. You, you go to the Chamber of Commerce, you, you know, you, you sign up, you've got a sole proprietorship or, you know, a limited, uh, you know, an LLC or in Dutch, it's uh, Amon Sack, which is a sole proprietorship. You know, you do that and then you own a business. And he goes, no, 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 how do I earn money? So I go, ah, okay, now I understand, you know, what you mean. So basically, he wants to know how to make money, you know, by having a business. And that is just by providing value. You know, what can you... So, like, call to action from this video. If you want to start your own business, if you want to become an entrepreneur, then um, just think to yourself, okay, how can I provide value to today's society? What can you do? Because every business is providing value in some, you know, shape or form. Otherwise, the business will die out. Like, even the most simple... Like, like for example, hairdressing, you know, companies, salons... How are they provide value? They're cutting someone's hair. You know, that person is happy with the hair, the way it looks. You know, that's the worst example I could have thought of, but the first example that popped into my head. You know, they're providing value by cutting someone's hair and they're getting money for that in return. Obviously, the more value you can bring, the higher your rate. So obviously, you know, there's a lot of hairdressers out there. So you can't ask for as much as you know, you can't ask for a thousand dollars or euros per haircut. But you know, if you're doing a service that is going to actually earn a company money, you know, you're, you're, you're doing all the brand and everything for them, obviously you can ask for that much higher rate. So call to action, if you want to 
pro if you want to start your own business and you want to become an entrepreneur earn money then think how can you provide value to today's society okay guys i can see on the clock that we're nearly uh we've nearly got a 10 minute video so i'm gonna i like, stop rambling on now uh, like the video if you got something out there comment down below like what you want to see for my channel next like i said i really want to start documenting more want to start providing more value so let me know because then i can tailor my videos to your needs win-win situation again provide them value like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Gotta do what I gotta do.